G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon and we're here to show you how you can upload your digital scrapbook layouts to Snapfish for printing. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to snapfish.com and choose your region of the world. And then you can scroll down and click add photos. Your digital scrapbook layouts are typically stored on your computer, so click my computer. And then you'll be prompted to sign in or join Snapfish. I'm going to click sign in. Then I'm prompted to upload my photos. Now notice in the bottom right section, it has upload preferences. You're gonna to want to choose a full resolution and you wanna untick, remove red eye and color correct. We don't want them doing anything funny to our beautiful layouts. Then click the X and click select photos. I'm gonna also add a name to this album and I'm gonna click select photos. I can select multiple photos by holding down the control key on a PC or the command key on a Mac while I click on the images. Then when I have all my files selected, I'll click open. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the files to upload. If you're uploading them at full resolution, it can take a minute or two per image, depending on how fast your internet is. So be patient. It's worth having high quality results at the end. You can also choose to select more photos and when upload is complete, you can click done. Now with Snapfish in Australia, at least, you can't order square prints directly from them. So I prefer to choose a photo book. So let's click start a book. Because my scrapbook layouts are square, I'm gonna go for a hardcover eight by eight album. I'm going to choose the design your own album and then click make this photo book. And you can see that my photos are already loaded on the left hand side here. Let's go into the book and I'll just show you very briefly how you can add your pages to a book. Click and drag the photo. And I'll click the option, click on one time on the photo and then click the option to for photo as background. Then I'll just delete that text, go to the next page. Remove the text again and drag on the photo that I want. And set the photo as a background. Now you can see there's a dotted line that show you that areas outside of that dotted line may not print. And because I've already designed my layouts with printing in mind, that's no issue if some of the bits are cut off. Now you can choose a name for your book and click save. And then you can always go through the review and buy process when you're ready. I can show you that today by going back to a different project that I have already printed. And now I can show you how you can go ahead and review and buy your book with this um, previous book I've ordered with Snapfish. Just click on review and buy and then you can browse through each page to make sure everything is in the right spot and looks perfect. And then you simply click add to cart, verify your address, choose the mail that you would like, add any promotional cards and check out. It's pretty simple. Snapfish has been very reliable and I printed photo books with them for about 12 years now. So I hope this video has been helpful and shown you how you can upload your photos and order your own photo book. Thanks so much for watching and if you'd like to learn more about printing digital scrapbook pages or Photoshop elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.